waiting sets to have new flock at this um on this side of the farm so we're excited pretty much excited about it so tomorrow we would have um new intakes here yeah? we are expecting like um a thousand one hundred birds they are going to fill this side this side of the pen yeah hello yeah <laughs> it's been such a while hello guys welcome to my channel my name is Mudipe. yeah it's me again been a while i know it's been such a while so yeah today it's more like um we're just doing a vlog just like a a bringing in <laughs> bringing in new birds vlog so yeah today 22nd of june we're bringing new birds to fuse farmhouse to our farm so yeah we we got the birds at um like i mentioned in our previous video our farm is located in mosimi so we got these birds from shimawa from a farm in shimawa shimawa in shagam local government so that's pretty close to us and yeah we got to the farm like um like 6 a.m to start um picking the birds and putting them in these cages before we start heading to our own farm so yeah in um in in um agriculture or let's say agribusiness actually we have to take um logistics that's moving of um birds or moving of animals or crops from one location to another seriously there's a whole lot of money to be made there guys no jokes a whole lot of money so yeah um this is actually something very very important they are doing pouring water on the birds that's to prevent um heat from um getting from affecting the birds literally so in each of these cage we have um 25 birds there 25 layer birds in each of these cages so you can imagine there's heat so you have to prevent it so it doesn't um cause shock or stress to the birds that's why that's why they are pouring water on those birds great and um yeah so like I, like i mentioned earlier agribusiness is, is vast so guys just just pick one you want to do you don't have to do everything just pick one that okay and be a specialist in it like this for instance the logistics of agribusiness there is a car or a cab or a truck kind of yeah a truck kind of so we have to pay for this truck pay these guys who are the drivers then another another farm they have these cages currently i i think each of these boxes they cost um probably 30 30 000 naira at the moment so we got about 24 25 of them and um yeah we're moving 1100 birds so it means we would have to make the journey twice so we got like 25 of them and like i mentioned earlier each of these um box will contain 25 layer birds so another thing they are also doing is they are they are trying to tie up the boxes together and that's to prevent the birds for, um the cages from shaking or yeah from shaking when they start moving couple with the fact that the roads are bad yes the roads are very bad so they have to tie them all together you see that they have to tie them all together so it doesn't it doesn't shake and everything is in place while they get on the journey so yeah we're leaving the farm we got the birds from um yeah the farm is ashimawa like i mentioned and we're heading to our own own farm and that's the journey is just about um 25 minutes yeah so yeah the birds have gotten to our farm now yeah welcome guys welcome home welcome home guys so um each of those boxes are brought inside 25 birds in each and so we're we are placing these birds in, in the cells and we're having um four 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 of those birds in each of the cells yeah we got these birds today that's 22nd of june the birds spent 14 weeks so of course that, that would mean that um we're going to have them in the farm for we would expect that they start laying at 20 weeks yeah we expect that so they have um six weeks to to eat and eat and eat and eat then please 
20 weeks, guys, start dressing. Yeah, so we have um, a lot of people helping us. We have a consultant, he's the one in white. We have um, the transporters helping us. We have our farm attendants helping us. And yeah, you see the old floor? They are currently 32 weeks. Yeah, the old floor are currently 32 weeks. So we have this one that are 14 weeks. Join them. Oh, and okay, another thing. You see this um, feed, this sacks here? Yeah? We have to put them there so that it prevents the birds from falling off because they're still little, they could actually fall off from under this um, cages. So you have to put that there. And yeah, you can see that some of the feathers are still wet, and that's from the from the water poured on them. And what else? What else do you see? Yeah, okay. If you watch, if you see them clearly, you see that um, the birds their beak were also trimmed. Of course, we have to really take that um, seriously because we had a couple of them in our old flock um, pecking themselves to death. It was really crazy. So we hope that we're able to prevent that. And of course, we've had a lot of things to learn over time that we would um, be more careful with and be more watchful of with this new stuff. So guys, that's about it today. We're just taking you through getting getting um, new flocks, new stuff into into fish from house so, so, i hope you've learned one to or two things that you can also use at your own hand too again don't forget to like share subscribe drop a comment please let's know how it how you move your own stuff how it is at your own end yeah from across the world across nigeria and all that just look at just look at my new babies just look at them don't worry we will be back here to give you more updates on their progress oh guys just look at them so yeah guys get used to your new home this is your home like they're really just looking trying to see that what's happening here what's happening here this is a new environment don't worry you get used to it get used to the new environment thank you for watching guys bye see you in my next video thank you